Korea's morning calm was shattered early on 25 June 1950 by the roar of artillery as over 100,000 North Korean troops violated the 38th parallel. U.S. Secretary of Veterans Affairs Eric Shinseki proved a fitting speaker in the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific, a fitting backdrop for a ceremony honoring the 60th anniversary of the Korean War. Our Korean War veterans. And as a reminder of the price paid by those who fought it. 54,246 Americans gave their lives. Secretary Shinseki, along with U.S. Pacific Commander Admiral Samuel J. Locklear, present arms, joined Republic of Korea leaders for a wreath laying ceremony and a commemorative stone dedication hey. in tribute to Korean War veterans. The Honorable Young Kil Su, Korea's Council General, thanked those who fought so hard and gave so much for his country. Your college and have sacrificed, protected our freedoms. Victory was and is on our side. The sacrifices of Americans and South Korean troops during the war helped create a strong alliance between the two countries. Admiral Locklear talked about the importance of that relationship. Together for the past 60 years, we've attended to the security needs of the Asia Pacific as a region rose to global prominence. The result is always constant and forthright. This alliance is key and will remain key into the future. Nick Tovo, Honolulu, Hawaii.